Hey everybody, Vaping Gal Philly here, and today I am reviewing Witch City Vapors. Uh, I do have their old labels. A couple weeks ago when I was in Salem, Massachusetts, I got these little bad boys uh, from them, and they did tell me that they were going to be switching over to Witch City Vapors because there was already a Witcher's Brew, Witch's Brew company out there and they didn't want to infringe on that so they changed their labels. I'll link it down below for you guys so you guys can see. The labels virtually are the same just named differently. Um, I, I picked these up at Vapor Outlet uh, which is on Lafayette Street, 103 Lafayette Street in Salem, Massachusetts. So if you ever go to visit or are around that area Go in and check them out. They had a good selection of gear. They had a good selection of juice. They had companies like Drake's, Moon Mountain Vapor. They had a house blend. They have the Witch City Vapors juice. Um, and they have a very knowledgeable staff. I was really, really impressed. And they have something for every aspect of vaping. They have the normal 50-50 PGVG. They had high VG for the dripping crowd. Uh, they had you know, egos all the way up to mechanicals. It was just a very well-rounded shop. I loved the decor in there. I thought it was really super cool. Um, so yeah, check them out. Um, so I'm going to talk about Dark Moon. Uh, I like to have it on a one ohm coil. And unfortunately, my one ohm coil uh, atomizer is in my car and my husband has it. So won't be vaping that one because that's what I prefer it at. But it is a chocolate cream vape. Um, and I'm very particular about chocolate vapes. I'm not one to normally like them. But I actually like this one as long as I do it above 1 ohm. Um, I tried to sub ohm it and I got a weird flavor out of it. It's probably just me. Uh, so you'll have to check that out for yourself if you decide to check out this uh, company. And um, then we have Hocus Pocus. And Hocus Pocus is their fruit blend. And let me pull up the description so I don't get it wrong. I do know there is mango and pineapple in it and peach and cream. Um, I found this to be a fabulous vape. I vaped it all over Salem. Um, and people were complimenting me on the smell. Uh, the vapor production is really good. And I'm really picky about mango vapes as well because most of the time um, I get this taste like I'm vaping on the rind of the mango, not the actual mango flavor. So to get a mango mixed with that pineapple and peach and that cream is really super good. I am going to apologize in advance. My Addy, this 26 gauge wire, it snap crackles and pops a lot. Uh, my mic does pick that up, so I do want to apologize for that. I did not want to rebuild the plume veil yet because the wire is still good in it. So uh, you got to deal with a little bit of snap, crackle, pop, but I'll vape it and tell you what I think. First of all, the vapor production is, is good. My batteries are almost dead in this, and I got that much vapor off of almost dead batteries. Um, it is that mango is in the forefront to me. I do get a hint of pineapple that kind of dances around on the inhale, um, but I mostly get the pineapple, peach, and, and the cream on the exhale of it. The mango is pretty predominant on the inhale, but it's a really good blend. I just, ah. Uh. Very, very impressed with that. Yum, yum. Uh, now, the next one I'm going to talk about, which is the third in, in the trio, is called Charmed. And Charmed is a Rice Krispie treat. And I thought, oh, great, another Rice Krispie treat, thinking that to myself. Um, I tend to think that this is one of the better Rice Krispie treats that I've had. It is that marshmallowy rice cereal flavor, but there's something creamy that kind of brings them both together and, and uh, makes them go together a little bit better. It's just a really nice, nice vape. Maybe it's the marshmallow flavoring that they're using. I don't know, but it does have that creamy, almost like you're having a marshmallow um, rice crispy treat with a glass of milk, maybe, but it could just be me. Um, yeah, really good stuff.
very well done. Um, like I said, it's one of the better Rice Krispie treats that I've had. I've had about 10 of them now, I think. Um, and there's only been maybe three that I've liked. Uh, some of them taste more like burnt rice than a Rice Krispie treat to me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just picky, I guess. Um, you can get these in 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, or 24 milligram. And right now on whichcityvapors.com, it looks like they're on sale. They're normally $22 for a 30 mil. Right now they're on sale for $15. And that is as of the 27th of October, 2014, because you may be watching this at a later time. But like I said, I'll put the link down below for you guys. I'll put the link to Vapor Outlet um, to their Facebook page so you can check them out there. And until next time, guys, vape on and vape strong.